John, today with your 700th and last professional appearance as a footballer. You made your league debut at Huddersfield Town as a 19 year old in 2002. Just under 20 years later, it's come to an end. What a journey, what a career, what are the emotions right now? Um, I'm not really sure at the minute. Um, obviously, I was delighted to play the game and, and get that kind of personal milestone, but for me, I don't know, I don't know when it'll really sink in. I was quite emotional coming off the pitch when I was, when I was subbed off and you know, the reception that I got from, from all the players, you know, not just from our lads, but from their lads as well, it was really nice. And it's been a special, it's been a special career for me. It's been a lot of ups and downs, but I've loved every second of it and, I've, and I'm so thankful and grateful that I've had the opportunity to do what I've done. Is it a tough decision to hang on the boots now? Uh, yes and no. I think I knew probably the start of this season that this was going to be my last. Uh, you always feel you can carry on. I think I didn't want to get to a stage where I was just turning out on, you know, on a Saturday afternoon and, and not not doing what I need to be doing in terms of, you know, for your teammates and for the club that you, you that you're employed at. So I didn't want to get to that stage, and I feel like I'm leave, I'm hanging at the boots on a bit of a high, you know, over two fantastic years with Harrogate Town and. I honestly can't thank the club enough. You know, it's been, you know, a whirlwind and a, and a magical way to end your career. You know, with two trips to Wembley, two wins, um, and a great set of, set of lads. So, you know, I'm I'm very very thankful. Yeah, it's been a, a magical career. Are there some standout moments for you? Um, yeah, obviously my debut, Huddersfield obviously stands out, and then had some amazing times in the Premier League, scoring against the likes of Man United, and then. You know, scoring against Chelsea for Bradford in the FA Cup and then obviously two trips to Wembley and a promotion with Harrogate Town. So I've had some really high moments um, and you know, and really when I, when I look back at it, when all the dust has settled, um, I don't think I wish for more really. I'm sure the list will be endless, but is there any people right now that you really want to thank? It, it is an endless list and it really is. Um, Footballs is a very strange game. You, you come across a lot of people, especially in the time that I've been um, playing the game. It's been numerous coaches, managers, players of the professional staff that have, that have helped me along the way. Um, I know those people kind of know who they are, I think. It's just it's just one of them. Every manager that I've played for, I've tried to do my best for, and, and for the most part, I had good relationships with, and, you know, and I've got on with a lot of players in dressing rooms. So my family have been important. Obviously, you know, my wife and kids um, are kind of the support when I get back home. Um, they, they stay away from the football side of it, which is what I needed probably sometimes when you're going home, you don't want to be talking football and, and they were good for that. Um, and, uh, you know, my family, in terms of my brothers and my, my stepdad, you know, introduced me to football at the age of sort of 11. If he hadn't done that, you know, maybe we wouldn't be studying here today. So, yeah, along the, along the way, there's been a lot of people that have, that have contributed to, to what's been um, a long career and, and it's, it's just a bit down to a bit of luck at the end of the day and, and staying injury free. Congratulations on the incredible career, John. Thank you. Thanks very much.